Hello everybody, this is Mike Jr. the second, welcome back to the Moimon Nuzlocke Randomizer. So, in between this episode and the last episode, I don't know if I said this on camera, but, um, or camera, my, while I was still being recorded, uh, basically, I decided to stick to level 42 besides Basil, because for some reason when I was training Basil, only the low level fucking Pokemon that would only give me at most like 300 EXP compared to the some thousand points other Pokemon gave me were. So because of that, I decided I would stick with 40, especially so it would be easier to catch certain Pokemon, because we still have to go through some early parts of the game. Anyway, so something I also realized, I never showed off two different things. Number one, all the Pokemon I caught yesterday, I never showed off their abilities, so I apologize for that. I checked already, it's nothing too special, but we'll go do that in a second. But I also forgot to show my characters, um, or the, uh, the new move set from the last time I recorded, so... Anyway, we can do that now. I don't think there's really anything too different between this episode and most of the other episodes. Hyperfang might have been a new move I learned, but I didn't learn that last episode. I, I learned that before uh, the end of the last session. And then, um, yeah, there's really not much different for most of the moves here. Yeah, just everything seems mostly the same. So I think you actually want a Pokemon with Cut to get an item later. So because of that, I'm gonna have to stick someone off the team and stick Poe in there. So until then, should still show off the Pokemon that we caught yesterday. Actually, I didn't see if they had any items at all. Nope, no items, okay. Always good to check, you never know. So abilities really aren't that great from what I've seen. You have Sticky Hold, prevents item theft, not really useful in single player. Because I don't think Pokemon ever use Thief or anything like that in single player. Uh, Cloud9, I find it funny because I said that Pelipper had uh, Drizzle, as it's a hidden ability in future games, and it has Cloud9, which negates weather effects. I think that's kind of funny. Um, anyway, we have uh, Chlorophyll, uh, raises speed and sunshine. Shed skin, heals the body by shedding, and that's about it. So nothing really too special out of this team setup. I mean, honestly, I would still take Crobat as the poison type out of all the mons I have right now. So with that out of the way, actually, do, do you have anything? Oh, you have a Twisted Spoon. Don't really need, you know what, I'll take that item. Oh, no, I can't take it now. I can grab that later as long as I know. So I think the member I'm going to kick off the team for now is going to be... Money Shot, yeah. I think uh, Money Shot can keep it over here for now. Okay, so now we're going to head back. I think it was Route 12, which is the area we have to go down. I apologize if I'm wrong. I almost took Lightning off the team, too. I was like, wait a minute, you have Fly. That's kind of an important move to have. So anyway, you also need the Pokey Flute to go down in this direction as well. The only thing, so keep that in mind. You need, this is really the these are really the only two ways to get the Fuchsia City. I would consider the bike path to be the easier path, so keep that in mind. We're still in Route Twelve, okay. So anyway, let's see what we should get out. So uh, something I do want to talk about stat wise, uh, Tomy has the I think second highest attack out of all the Pokemon here, and has a pretty decent special attack as well. And um, yeah, yeah, third no. Yeah, Tomy has a higher attack than Ashnard. I find that kind of funny. Anyway, so with that as well, though, uh, Electric Boogaloo not only has the second highest special stat, it has the highest attack stat, stat as well. The second, the the actual, the first special uh, highest attacker on my team is Lightning. I just I find that so funny. Electric Bo Boogaloo, you know, as much as I want to keep the, using that hit that hidden that hidden power, a uh, huge power kind of ability. You know, I really should stick another special move on it, just so it can really just be basically a mixed fighter. And honestly, with, I think it still has halfway decent defenses. Yeah, that special defense is fucking insane. And regular defense is, uh, you know, nothing to really, uh, nothing to really shoot down. So, you know, honestly, Electric Boogaloo is easily going to be the best member on our team, because of huge power alone. So anyway, oh, I forgot to switch Pokemon. Eh, whatever we can use. Uh, we can use Tomy, why not? And I guess I should just speed this up, because who cares? Ooh, Megaton, that's a new Pokemon for today. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess it's just Shadow Punch. Right, Thunderbolt, can you tank it, Tomy? Oh, man, just that. You know, I mean, I mean, we are more than almost double the level of this Pokemon, and the uh, damage it's doing is incredible. It just, it surprises me. And we're fighting Gorefish. Oh, it's so cute. You definitely grow up to be a very good uh, fucking badass looking Moemon. Anyway, maybe not the... I, I never really cared for Crawdon as a Pokemon, but that fucking other form was amazing. <laughs> not gonna lie. It, it just it just looked really badass, to be quite fair. Alrighty then, so, and we can't get that yet until we have the ability Surf, so I'll probably come get that later. Oh, you know what? I think I actually missed, uh, missed an item to get in, uh... Celadon City, I think. So I should probably go back and grab that later. 
Wow, I'm actually surprised that I defeated that coughing in one hit. Because <laughs> they usually have pretty good defenses, not gonna lie. Alrighty then. Just mostly fishermen right now, but at the very least, you know, it, it's very boring when you're not playing fucking, uh... You know, when you're not playing a randomizer, because, like, it just... Especially for the first generation, the amount of Pokemon that each trainer has is just, like, not unique whatsoever. It's like, oh, here's all my... Here's all my bug Pokemon, which is only, like, you know, a few different Pokemon in there, including all of their evolutions, which is, like, ugh. But here you get some varied teams, and even if some of them don't make any sense at all. Because, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm still curious what you guys think about me doing a Moimon uh, Nuzlocke of randomizer of <laughs> Emerald as well, because I figured that'll be fun, but do the original Moimon so we can not... You know, not, not because I hate the this revival project, but just so I can see what the original looked like. So, oh, and I forgot to show off the two new Pokemon I saw. S speaking of, I cannot hit you with this. What am I doing? I fucked that up. You know, I should probably use Blizzard instead. Eh, whatever works. Because Tommy doesn't have half bad a special attack either, to be quite fair. Oh, hey, that's a giraffe rig. I don't get the design, but whatever. Oh, wait, that's right, you're part normal type. That doesn't work. What am I doing? Please ignore the man behind the stupid mirror. Alrighty then. God, we are getting by here pretty quickly. Oh, yay. Mew. Oh, wow. That's a Mew. <laughs> I was wondering what Mew was going to look like. I have to say, it doesn't look half bad. So... We're going to use Shadow Ball on Mew, get you off the field, and I think we'll use Stun Spore on Mawile. And you're gone, Mew. Get out of here. I do have to say, I like the design. Oh, shit. Metal Sound. Uh, I think I might switch out Tomy just to play it safe. Mm, we'll do Ashnard because he's the only Pokemon with a Fire-type move. <laughs> At least on this team. Not very effective. Ooh, payday, yay. Uh, do we get extra money if a, if another trainer uses payday? Kind of curious. I'm actually not sure about that at all. I haven't also been doing my money training thing just yet. I, I would like to see what those TMs are in the corner over there, but I guess we're just not going to find out. So anyway, I guess now we have the ability to try doing the... Uh Catching a Snorlax again, despite the fact that I just, I, you know, I, I, I'm not going to fret over it, you know. I just, I have my team, you know, unless fucking, unless my Porygon 2 goes down, which honestly, considering its actual defenses, it's it's probably not going to happen. Alright, and Snorlax is paralyzed. Uh, that's not going to do anything. Oh no, not my stat changes, which I haven't done any of yet. Cool, cool. I might be able to... Paraflinch it for a while. Oh shit, that was a critical hit. That was a nice attack. Alright, and I also have Ultra Balls now, so hopefully that actually helps out. So we might actually be catching this one. Wow, first try. Nice. That's an Ultra Ball for you, I guess. Alright then, so the nickname for the Snorlax will be... Godmother, as a reference to my friend Iron Fury, which I've also I've talked about as Nuzlocke Randomizer like a hundred times already. But, uh, oh, and we're also at the area by uh, Route 11. But anyway, uh, it's, um, it's uh, my friend Iron Fury, he calls his, for his uh, Pokemon League team, apparently he called his uh, Snorlax uh, the Godfather. So because he called him the Godfather, I figured I'd call it Godmother because it's a girl. Even though it wasn't technically the gender girl, which, you know, I... <laughs> I have to bring up some of the weirdness that comes with that, but anyway, I just figured I'd call it that because I'm not really going to use it, so. So anyway, thinking about it, okay, so this is still Route 12 the all the way down. Okay, so now we're going to try to catch our Route 12 encounter because I, I only had dupes earlier, so. Because of that, because for some reason it was only showing up as Chester, which is weird. Usually it doesn't do that, so anyway, now we have the Super Rod, which is the best rod to get. I think you can get the normal rod in, in Fuchsia, I think. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, Mistrevis. All right, so we haven't seen a Mistrevis yet, so this is actually kind of interesting. Stun Spore and my Attack Mist, of course. And you have Bullet Seed, nice. Um, honestly, I'm not sure about Mistrevis's stats. I don't think it's that great of a Pokemon. I'm not exactly sure. I know it was like a big Pokemon on uh, Chugga Conroy's uh, Coliseum Let's Play, but I still haven't seen that Let's Play yet. 
Still have not seen that. So anyway, actually, Megahorn might be the... No, I might as well just... Mm, can't use Rage, actually. Fuck. Because ghost types are resistance against... The, yeah, I'm going to use Megahorn because ghost types are resistant against it. So I might have a better chance. And no, I killed it. Okay, whatever. I don't care. It is what it is. Okay, so that was our Route 12 encounter. So, do we get a new route soon? Because I would like to try to catch a Pokemon down there. Ah, wait, what? What was that actual trainer's name? I don't remember that trainer. Is he like the only one of his kind? I just find that funny. And I didn't mean to use Rage. Yeah, oh god, it still did that much fucking damage. Don't get poisoned, don't get poisoned. Okay, good. Sorry for screaming in the last episode for that. <laughs> the thing is, right now I'm not wearing headphones because I just, you know, I've heard the music in this game. I don't really need to commentate on the music of a ROM hack because it's just the same music over again. But, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm more of a, uh, I feel like I got more of a thing going on because of that. I just, I, I feel like I, I'm more energetic. I don't feel like my head's getting fucking squished. Alright, so let's take out Electric Boogaloo, show some more damage. It sucks that Electric Boogaloo just does not want to learn any good physical moves. That's the one thing I don't like about Electric Boogaloo right now. I mean, the because it just, I, I need some other move to take on Ghost Types, and even Steel Types, honestly. Just, because you don't know what you're going to run into. Oh no, you have Protect. Eh, whatever, fuck you. Because right now, what, it was 86 its stats, its special, you have a Zapdos? Oh shit, look at that. I think that's one of the one or two Pokemon we were missing. Shit. Eh, the, the, honestly, it looks too chibi-like for me, for my taste. I Something tells me this is from the original Moe Mana, not the Revival Pack. It just looks too chibi. The Articuno looked really cool. That I could I could mistake that for the Revival one, but... Not feeling it for the Zapdos, which sucks because I... You know, if, if I could catch a Zapdos, I would totally call it a Ra's Cousin, which was the name of my... Uh, which was the name of my Zapdos in my league. Man... Zapdos is one of the best fucking Pokemon out there, hands down. It, it's so good defensively. Like, you know, it's not one of those Pokemon you think you can take out in one or two hits. Oh, and hey, there's the Swapalu, the, the pre-evolved form of the Altaria. So that's what our one Pokemon would have looked like. It was, it was the only Dragon-type from Generation 3 I didn't catch. Not counting, you know, I said yesterday I said uh, Dragon-types, you know, I caught all of them from Gener- I've seen all of them from Generation 3. I meant, um, we're still in Route 12, aren't we? Yeah, we're still in round 12, so I don't think any... I don't think we can do any of these encounters, but I think there's an item down here. Nope, there's no... Uh, okay, whatever. Oh, hey, a Stantler, nice. Oh, it's a crying little girl. Why is it a crying little girl? Is that is that like a reference to one of its Pokedex entries? Like, am I missing something here? God, it, it, it's crying because I kill... <laughs> I'm killing all of its kind in Breath of the Wild. Oh, nice! Hit on top. Jeez, we're finding a lot of Pokemon here. Alright, I'm gonna go... We're gonna... Oh, what are you doing? It's tight. Oh, it's tight. I think it's doing... Not Focus Blast. What's it called? Focus Punch, I think. Which really... Which just... It, I, I don't get Focus Punch. I think it's one of the stupidest fucking moves out there. Alright, just another Hitmon top. Right, I'm gonna skip until we see another Pokemon. Alright then guys, no new catches besides the- er, catches, no new encounters besides those two. And I forgot to show off the Pokedex, the new Pokemon that I found. First is Pidgeot. I have to say, I really like this design. I, I just- I, I like the carefree smile, I love the- I love the goggles. I don't know if it's- yeah, it's pretty form doesn't have the goggles at all. But uh, I just- I, I like- I like it, it looks pretty nice. Though I've come to the realization that most of the Pokemon, Moemon, the larger evolutions are all sitting down because they can't fit in the tiny screen that they made for them. And I just, I find that really funny to a certain extent. And then we found Jinx, which uh, looks alright, I guess. I don't know, it's, uh, <laughs> never really was a fan of Jinx, and honestly, I was whooping its ass out there, so it's not like it was that big of a deal. Alright then, let's see if we can find another encounter over here, in a second anyway. Ooh, Agron, ooh. I like that, I like that of all form, that looks pretty bitchin', though I am four times... Uh, let's still see, see if we can take it down, it has high defense and four times weak, but let's see how much, oh yeah, damn. That kind of makes sense. And it has Wish. Ooh, damn. I'd love to get my hands on an Aggron then. Aggron with Wish? Fuck. Whole people for days. And then it came back to life, so it's going to restore half its HP. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch it out. Um, I don't think I have any Fighting-type move Pokemon, so... Ashnard, I think, is going to have to hit it with uh, Heat Wave. I think that's going to be the best option right now. 
You know, thinking about it, I guess I could have. No, I don't want to use Tomy because that's he's a uh, Tomy's a physical attacker. And 43, so now we're at 85, so that means that's 170 power, folks. Holy shit. And Butterfree, okay, so nothing different. Nothing we haven't seen before. Have we? Yes, we've seen a Farfetch. Yes, we've seen it, which actually looks halfway decent. <laughs> it actually looks somewhat cool, like, like it's like part ninja or something. Which, you know, if a Farfetch was part dark type, I feel like that'd be that, that'd be a cool, like, a low on form, I think. I mean, it still doesn't have any stats at all. Well, I'm trying to remember, too. Do the Aloha forms have different stats compared to the regular forms? I still haven't played uh, Sun and Moon yet. I need to, especially with the fucking sequel to that game coming out. Like, I thought I caught up when I got X and Y done, but... I got so many other games to play right now, even though I actually want to play uh, Sun and Moon, despite, you know, despite the fact that I really just didn't care about Gen 6. I did not want to get into it at all. And then, so I think we're going to start our catch now, folks. So time to throw Basil out here and have some fun. Actually, no, you know what? I'm not going to do it just yet. Because I will switch. I think we'll put Lightning up front for now. No, I didn't want to use Fly. Don't use Fly. But, anyway. want to go to that grass patch up there because... You know, I might run into another Mischievous, which I really don't care about, but maybe I could find a different kind of Poke other uh, Pokemon out there. That'd be kind of nice. I guess we'll use Extra Sensory. Why not? Yeah, pretty damn good uh, Special Attack Lightning, so it works for me. Ooh, and here's the Rhyhorn. I love this. I'm really curious what, uh... What's the evolved form of Rhyhorn? Rhydon? Yeah, I'm curious what Rhydon looks like, because Rhyhorn looks fucking bitchin'. And, you know, Lightning having Extra Sensory really just fucks over uh, Rhydon. Because, like, most of the ground rock-type Pokemon just had absolutely no special defense in the first game. You have Sandstorm, too? Oh, God. Fuck, no. I'm, I'm kind of happy I didn't... Well, I could... I mean, I wouldn't have caught it, but I'm kind of happy I didn't catch that. Because any... Any... any uh, Pokemon with Hail or Sandstorm that doesn't have the attribute that makes it non-damaging is, like... You just, I'm just thinking about how so much that would fucking suck. It's just like, oh, no, my Pokemon's actively hurting itself. And we have Spinda, which we've already seen as well. Saw that one in the first town, so. I do have to say, it's one of the more uh, unique of the Moemon. Thinking about it. Just, I just, I like the, I like the more outfit heavy design, some of them, where I, I feel like, and it's possible this is why they do it, but some of the later, um, some of the later Moemon designs feel like they're not as, uh, I, I don't know how to put it, but it's like, it's just like, oh, here's what they're, you know, they're just in an outfit that the original form was in, compared to actually doing something, something unique. Like a nice uh, head, like, you know, like the, the Butterfree, you know, it has a really nice headpiece and whatnot that makes it look like a butterfly and its design just has the same colors, where I feel like some of the other Pokemon are just like, oh, well, here's just a butter, here's just a, a girl in a Butterfree costume, you know? Like the, like the Quagsire one almost. No, I'm not saying I hate all of them that are like that, but I feel like some of them kind of just turn into that. Not really much else to say now. We're kind of getting low on uh, new Moimon to find, though. You've already found, like, what, three or four in this episode already, so that's kind of nice. But still, uh, I'm still... Uh, I'm kind of afraid. I'm actually curious what you guys want me to do. I don't think I'm going to take on the Sevi Islands because, uh... Really, to be quite fair, what's the point at this point? What am I going to see that I haven't seen already in terms of design? I think what I'm going to do is, is, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to see if I can find a cheat code I can use on here to find all the Moemon. And then uh, after that, I will... Uh, or I guess I could just find the fucking sprite sheet and show it off. That might actually be slightly easier. But uh, because of that, I think I'm going to... Um, I'm going to skip the Sevi Islands after I'm done, and I'm just going to use the regular... Uh, well, I'm going to skip the Sevi Islands, I'm just not going to worry about the, um... My brain doesn't want to work right now. I'm not going to worry about taking on uh, Sevi Islands, and I'm just going to use uh, alternate methods to show off the uh, other uh, Moimons. Alrighty then. 
Yep, it's just uh, battling here, folks. Not really much else. There's not really a design here. It's just how to battle the most. Have we already seen a jump block? I feel like we've already seen a jump block. I was going to say, wow, that jump block is pretty fast, but no, I remembered lightning is slow. Kind of counterintuitive to the name, but whatever. Ooh, Wurmple. I was actually curious what a Wurmple looks like. Okay, that's kind of cute. Tail Glow? Raises special attack sharply? Is that like a... Huh, what kind of a... That, that makes me think of another move. There's another move out there that does something similar. And there's the Clefairy as well. Jeez. You know, I'm saying we're running low on Moemon to find, but damn, we're definitely finding them. I do wonder whether or not the randomizer does a good job at trying to make sure... Oh god, it's tit, it's Big Tits McGee. Didn't mean to use Fly, but whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not that I hate this, it's just that I... I, I have mixed feelings about the Octillery. I'm not saying the design looks bad, I'm just saying it, it caught me by surprise out of all of them. Alright then, so... No? Yes, okay, so... Now we have the ability to go catch a new Moemon, and I think I'm gonna take advantage of that. Hopefully I don't get any dupes that I can't remember. I really should write down a list of all the Pokemon I've already fucking caught. And like their evolutionary line. Alrighty then, let's see, what do we get? And Apom, I've all... No, I haven't caught an Apom. No, I haven't. Because it would show it on here, so I'm just stupid. Okay, so I guess we'll try to capture an Apom, and I missed, come on. Uh, Apom really just isn't that... I'm not sure if it was anywhere near a good Pokemon in this game. I know in Gen 4 I got an evolution, but I think even then, I, I don't think it really gets much to... Gets much to brag about at all. I mean, I could be wrong, you know? It could have, like, huge powers, and I just don't fucking know about it. Damn, critical hit. Not getting lucky with the catches today, besides the Snorlax, that was, like, the best catch ever. And I guess I should see some other Pokemon here. Oh, Geodude! We haven't seen a Geodude yet. I definitely like the Geodude and the... and the Graveler design, but I feel like the Golem just feels like it's not different at all, but... I mean, the thing is, is that, you know, it's supposed to evolve, it's supposed to look similar. Oh god, a Porygon. How about we just run away? Actually, I'm curious whether or not the... If, because I know not all of the Pokemon, but a lot of them have two separate forms, or two, two separate abilities. Oh, and there's the Electrode. I was just thinking, too, I need to also evolve some of my Pokemon so I could show off the forms, but there's the Electrode. Damn, does it have some massive hits. Jesus. But I guess I don't have to do that for Electrode anymore. But yeah, that was something I was thinking of, that some of the Pokemon that I have. I also, I've been reading some of you guys' comments. I had someone specifically say I should probably train up some other Mons just to have them handy for when uh, my current Mons probably die. But uh, I don't know if that'll happen, though, because I just, I over-level too much. I really, like, I get it, but at the same time, I I, I don't want my Mons to die. Like, I, I've built such a bond with my Pokemon right now. Ooh, what's the, ooh, Primate. There we go, that's a, did I catch that Pokemon? No, I don't think I caught a Primate. That was my Pokemon. It's one of my main Pokemon I used in, uh... Leaf Green, though. It's a good Pokemon, honestly. Sky Uppercut? That's not a... Okay, I was about to say. For some reason, I thought that was a... Uh, fl possible a Flying-type move. Scared the shit out of me. Alright, then. I think we're gonna put Basil behind. Throw Ashnard up front. I'm gonna do one more encounter, and then hopefully... Nope, nothing new. Just uh, Porygon 2. So, with that... We've already fought you... Okay, we don't. Don't want him blocking off the path. That would suck, so. I'm gonna get right in front of him. I do have to say, having the, like I said, having the randomizer here makes it a lot more interesting. But anyway, no, I think I, I forgot about this. Yeah, no, I, I was talking about it. Um, oh, hey, Gloom. We haven't seen Gloom yet. It traced Hypercutter. Okay, well, thank God I didn't have, uh... <laughs> Every time I see Trace, I'm just, I'm glad that at the very least I don't have one of my other, my huge power Pokemon out. And Grovile looks kind of cool, I guess. Don't think it looks amazing, but it looks alright. But, no, I really do need to train up other Pokemon just to have them ready. You know, just to have like a, like a backup Pokemon each of them. Like, I probably should have a Poe ready in case uh, Basil kicks the bucket and stuff. But I just, you know, I really should have, I really should have done that in between me not recording the last Moimon, you know, before my last uh, Moimon session. Ooh, what are you going to be? You're a fire type now. Nice. Dragon Claw, don't care, bye. Poor Feebas. His name is Lazy Joe, that just, that sounds like, that sounds like a Lazy Joe kind of name. Actually, there's probably an item down here. No, really, huh. I am surprised by that, I do say, if I can do say so myself. 
right, so I think I'm done with this specific section. I'm gonna go back up and heal up, and then after that, I'm going to uh, just cut back down here. There's really no point to uh, <laughs> showing off me going to go heal up. Oh, and we get to see the mischievous that I missed out on. So, eh, what do you do? Honestly, Toei's the better mon, so uh, I don't care. <laughs> Well, I could be wrong, because if I remember correctly, I think Mischievous is more of a settler Pokemon. I think it I think it has moves like Spikes and whatnot, I think. Don't quote me on that. So, you know, it, it's a good Pokemon to use to fuck with people, especially if you have, like, Parish Song or something. Two ghost types, buddy. I mean, at, at least Mischievous helped start... stopped making them poison types, so that was kind of nice. So I just realized this dude had, like, two Pokemon that I fucking... <laughs> this guy has one Pokemon... Ooh, Seal, wow. You know, I I'm not really a big fan of the Dugon design, but the Seal design looks really cute. I don't know if the pre-evolved form is also an Ice type. It is... No, it isn't. Okay. So the evolved form was part Ice type, and that means it's super effective against... That rock is super effective against it, which... That just makes me laugh. The fact that, you know, a Pokemon that's part Water type... It's, it's one of the reasons I don't like Blaziken, because it's like, it's supposed to be a bird, but it's weak to flying type moves. Like, what the hell? Alrighty then, I guess we can use Rock Slide. Ooh, Mareep. Have we seen a Mareep yet? Yes, no, I don't think we have. I think that's a new one. It looks kind of cute. It's more of a, like a baby looking Pokemon than it is a very little girl. A little one? Wait, oh no, you're the other form. You're the Volbeat. The, the other version of uh, Volbeat, because they were they were trying to promote double battling with shitty Pokemon for some reason. I don't get that, by the way. Like, what was the point? Like, oh, you know, plus puzzle and uh, puzzle and my mine on. It's like why, why at all? You know, just I, I don't get those like the shitty Pokemon. But oh, you know, we because they're still shitty in double battles. You think you'd make them even better, but no, you you fuck it up. Why? Why'd you do that? <laughs> I I don't get the logic that Game Freak was going through. I don't know, maybe. Maybe they just weren't sure about double battling yet. Not like it even mattered, because for some reason, Generation 3 really didn't do a lot of competitive battling for some reason. I always felt Generation 3 was just such a weird generation for Pokemon. It's definitely when I think they switched to becoming like, this is gonna, like... Because Generation 2 was supposed to be the last generation. And uh, I think Generation 3 just kind of made it, you know what, we're... You know, Pokemon is staying, and it just... To me, I think it does a weird thing, because... You know, it's just, it just weird because Generation 3 just felt like it was so different from most of the other generations, and that's why a lot of people usually only like Generation 1 or 2 as their favorite generations. And uh, mine included, you know, like, I, I like the later generations, you know, more than a lot of the other people do. But at the same time, I would consider Generation 2 still my favorite generation out of playing uh, 1 through 6. So, because of that, I just feel like Generation 3 is so iffy because it's like, you know, you have cool things like the running shoes, double battling, abilities... But then, like, the TV show had to do some... Had to kick off the, the characters that we'd seen for so long. Like, like you know... At first, they kicked off two of them, and then they brought Brock back, which is kind of nice. But still, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, they kicked off a mainstay character. Ooh, Omastar. Ooh. That's a cool design. Looks very relaxed. <laughs> and it has color change. Nice. Well, I guess I will hit it with a dragon move. Yep. Yeah, well, I guess it killed it anyway, but I could have hit it with another dragon move if necessary. But, uh, but you have that, you know, you have the fact that it seems like, at least in my opinion, I think it became less dark. Ah, damn, I, I kind of wanted to run into, like, a double battle there, having two of the trainers fight you. But there's that, and then, like, um, you know, Pokemon, you know, there wasn't, like, a Pokemon Stadium 3. Like, I like Pokemon Coliseum and XD, but I can understand where a lot of people probably wanted a Pokemon Coliseum and XD. So, you know, that's a, ooh, no, I thought we already saw Seeking. Didn't we already see singing? I know we saw Goldeen yesterday, which I didn't really comment on. I apologize. The jerking off was uh, kind of on my mind at the time. <laughs> and I hope nobody saw the previous episode and they're like, what? Like, why were you thinking about it? Like, it's fucked. Like, are you weird, dude? Like, no, I meant my Pokemon was doing it. And that should... You know what? I'm not making it sound any better. But I swear I've seen Seeking before. And I, maybe I'm just not. Maybe I just can't remember it. I swear I saw it in, like, uh, Dragon Tower. I have it marked off on my list. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just don't remember it. We'll just say that. I just don't remember it. And we're out of Dragon Claw. You have Steel Wing. That's actually kind of fun. Damn, fuck.
You know, I I only have two moves that take advantage of Ashnard's uh, massive attack power, and holy shit, it's uh, it's doing pretty good to be quite fair. And another Magnemite, because for some reason you guys are like, don't you love my bird? Uh, sir, that's a magnet. It's a bird. You know, that's very funny, thinking about it, because I have a... I, I have a magnet in my bird cage right now. I plan on getting a bird in the future, and uh, a conure if anybody's curious. And, um... I've been trying to make sure, because I live in Arizona, it's hot here, and I'm trying to make sure the temp... I, I'm trying to think of a good temperature range that I can have so that, uh... You know, my bird can live peacefully. But, uh, so basically I have, a, I have a thermometer with a magnet in my cage right now, so technically I have a magnet in my cage too. <laughs> Under technicality rules. Alrighty then, so are we hitting a new area anytime soon? I gotta fly back, but I'm just curious whether or not that patch of grass is right here is. Yeah, this is Route 14. Ooh. This is Route 14, right? Yeah, so we can technically catch the Pokemon over here. So I'm gonna do that at... Um, you know what, Basil can handle... Actually, no, I'm gonna have to do it when I come back. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll be back!